Thank you very much. A very kind welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. You know... <laughs> I do not say this often enough, but my audience is extremely hot. Literally, because they stood outside for hours in what experts <laughs> are calling a record-breaking heat wave. It is, it is so hot in New York that the pantsless guy on the subway is wearing his linen penis. <laughs> it's breathable. <laughs> it wrinkles like crazy. And it's not just here. 265 million Americans are facing temperatures in the high 90s thanks to a phenomenon known as a heat dome, which our very own CBS senior weather producer David Parkinson described as hot, hot heat. <laughs> Thank you, David, for that informative... informative information. <laughs> to stay safe, the, the National Weather Service is advising people to go indoors and hydrate, and just in case, get a fan, a fainting couch, and say, Oh, Lordy, I have the vapors. <laughs> I, have a I have a brain fever. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's cooling down anytime soon. Scientists warn heat waves will be longer, more intense, and more frequent. So, good news for Mrs. Heat Wave. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. I assumed... <laughs> really? Uh, you can make anything. <laughs> anything can be a sex joke. <laughs> I assume the Weather Channel would be naming the heat dome like they do the winter storms, but they drop the ball on this one. And it's no surprise, because balls do tend to drop when it's this hot. <laughs> Half the audience laughed. Of course, a hot June day is a great time for a cookout. Just as Senate Majority Leader and Raisin in the Trail Mix insulted that you keep avoiding it, <laughs> Chuck Schumer. Schumer garnered some controversy this weekend when he was accused of staging a fake Father's Day photo of himself grilling. Here's the pic, okay? At first glance, looks just like any nice grandpa wearing the shirt he napped in, <laughs> offering you a delicious bunless burger. But look closer and you'll see he put cheese on an uncooked patty. <laughs> it's a little rare for my taste. We've got all the fixins. We got ketchup, mustard, E. coli, salmonella. <laughs> now... <laughs> Schumer captioned the photo with, Father's Day heaven, which is... <laughs> which is where you're going to be if you eat one of his burgers. <laughs> oh, it was a big day for Chuck Schumer's friend, Joe Biden. Today, the president announced an executive action which shields undocumented spouses of U.S. citizens from deportation. That's amazing news. Isn't it? You know. That is... I, that's amazing news for many immigrants and terrible news for the producers of 90 Day Fiancé. <laughs> But TLC is rolling with the changes with their new show, Undocumented Milf Manor. Uh, the, new, yeah. the new policy lets undocumented immigrants stay in this country while their green card is being processed, which is a big deal, because previously they had to return to their home countries to complete the process, which could mean long separations from their spouse and their families, sometimes for 10 years. And you, you can't spend that much time away from your children? You leave behind an angelic toddler and return to a monstrous tween. <laughs> Quoting skibbity toilet memes and calling your ankle socks cringe. Put a cork in it, Dylan. Maybe try some deodorant. <laughs> Not everyone qualifies for this plan. To apply, immigrants must have lived in the U.S. for 10 years and be married to a U.S. citizen. To which one immigrant said, but we can then divorce citizen right after election and maybe push him downstairs at Mar-a-Lago, yes? Yeah, yes? <laughs> oh, nice. Hey, hey. <laughs> Woo! Come on. <laughs> Ooh, speaking of things 
that are more legal than they used to be, New Yorkers are now allowed to grow marijuana in their homes. <laughs> finally, finally, an answer for the Manhattanite's eternal question, what shall I do with all that extra space between my kitchen <laughs> and my bathroom, <laughs> which is also my kitchen? <laughs> According to this new law, New Yorkers can grow up to three adult plants and have up to five pounds of marijuana in their homes. Five pounds? Uh, a five-pound bundle of weed? Who's their dealer? Costco? <laughs> well, I want to take a minute right now, and this is sincere, to send our well wishes, all of us here, to our friend, Sir Ian McKellen. <laughs> Sir Ian gave us a bit of a scare last night. Now, keep in mind, everyone is fine. But last night, Sir Ian was performing in a play in London when he lost his footing and fell off the stage. And, oh, I'm told we have a clip. Blimey, you fools. <laughs> I'm okay. Now, Sir Ian, yeah. he's fine. <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> Sir Ian actually took to Twitter to reassure fans, saying, my recovery will be complete and speedy, and I'm looking forward to returning to work, which is great. But he did have us worried for a second. After the fall, he was taken to the hospital and the play was canceled. It's the scariest thing to happen to a famed British actor since Dame Helen Mirren flipped her NASCAR. <laughs> this all happened during a performance of Shakespeare's Henry IV, parts one and two, called Player Kings. Coincidentally, Player Kings, also the original Renaissance name of Draft Kings. <laughs> Player Kings, methinks I blew our daughter's dowry on a donkey race. <laughs> the NBA. <laughs> I got. I got a couple things. I got a couple things for you over there. The NBA Finals wrapped up last night, and after defeating the Dallas Mavericks four games to one, the winners were the 2024 champion Boston Celtics. There you go. Bostonians. Bostonians were out in the streets, drunk and yelling, and then they found out they won a championship. <laughs> Accurate. In Boston? <laughs> Boston? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. It's nice for Boston fans to finally have something to celebrate ever since Tom Brady left town. All they've had to root for is Bill Belichick setting the record for youngest girlfriend. <laughs> After... Oh, I'm the bad guy? <laughs> After last night, the Celtics now have the most championships in NBA history with 18. It's that kind of sustained excellence that lets everyone... Okay. It's that kind of sustained excellence that lets everyone overlook their pipe-smoking, shillelagh-wielding, pot-bellied Irish stereotype mascot. Oh, me basket's full of whiskey. <laughs> this championship was a career peak for Celtic star Jason Tatum, surpassing even having his own brand of flaming hot barbecue chips which are far more popular than his rival Luka Doncic's Slovenian Crunch Logs. <laughs> we got some good news in the form of bad news for Trump advisor and man on a desert... <laughs> I agree, but I do want to tell the joke. <laughs> Trump advisor and man on a desert island who just got divorced from his volleyball, <laughs> Steve Bannon. Bannon was sentenced to four months in prison after being convicted of two counts of contempt of Congress. Now, sources say that Steve Bannon won't be spending his prison term in a minimum security club fed as he had hoped. But if he's listening... <laughs> but if he's not in a cushy white-collar prison, how will Bannon maintain his meticulous personal grooming? <laughs> But it's not like he's exactly going to Rikers. Bannon is set to report next month to the low-security federal prison in Danbury, Connecticut. And we all know how intimidating Connecticut convicts can be. <laughs> uh, let's get one thing straight, old Bean. My collection of monogram polo shirts is not to be touched, or <laughs> I'm warning you, you may not get an engraved invitation to my daughter's debutante ball. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Turning to the world of, uh, health, Yesterday, the U.S. Surgeon General called for warning labels on social media platforms. I agree with that completely. Every social media site. They're dangerous. Yeah. You cannot trust them. 
Every social site should say this. Warning, you may see photos of your high school bully living a happy life. <laughs> the Surgeon General got uh, surgeon specific, saying he'd push for a warning label advising parents that using the platform might damage adolescents' mental health and added that the sites prey on developing brains and contribute to excessive use. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, mon the monkey is washing the cat. <laughs> oh, what's, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah, teens. Teens, put down your phones and do something productive, like growing five pounds of marijuana. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. My guests are the hosts of Pod Save America. But when we come back, Cyborgasm. Join us, won't you?